In the late 1960s, Nichelle Nichols, the actress who played Uhura on Star Trek the original series, was presented with a conflict. This conflict was between her continuing role on Star Trek and her dream of being on Broadway. The day after Nichols handed in her resignation letter, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke to her as a fan at an NAACP meeting. He described to Nichols the significance of her role as an African-American actress and the inspiration she had become to the African-American people. By staying on Star Trek, she compromised her plans of being on Broadway to help inspire the dreams of others. Prior to the American Civil War, many of the African Americans living in the United States were slaves. Immediately following the war in December of 1865, the 13th Amendment to the Constitution was ratified freeing slaves and indentured servants. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. About 40 years later, in 1914, World War I commenced. The United States entered the Great War in 1917. African Americans and whites showed their patriotism when they fought for the United States in the Great War. African Americans served in the segregated units for the United States Armed Forces and endured racial discrimination and abuse that tested their patriotic resolve. African American soldiers were poorly trained and equipped, often being sent on dangerous missions. The bombing in Pearl Harbor on December 7th of 1941 pulled the United States into World War II. Segregation was still rampant on the home front. There was still a struggle for equal access to employment, education, housing, and voting rights. Regiments of the United States Armed Forces were still segregated, as well as Red Cross blood donors. In addition, African Americans were required to give their seats to Nazi prisoners. Approximately 20 years later, in the 1950s and 1960s, African Americans were still being treated differently than the whites. There were segregated restrooms, drinking fountains, houses, medical care, education, employment, and transportation. The NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, had a goal to equalize African American and white citizens' rights. Leaders such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. felt that direct action was needed for the equal rights to happen. In 1963, Gene Roddenberry, a television writer and producer, embarked on a journey to convey his ideas about equality, freedom, and personal accountability. Through this, he created the legendary American television series, Star Trek. Star Trek the original series was a fantasy science fiction that follows the journey of the USS Enterprise's five-year mission as it seeks out new life and new civilizations in the Alpha Quadrant of the 23rd century. Understand that Star Trek is more than just my political philosophy. It is my social philosophy, my racial philosophy, my overview on life and the human condition. Gene Roddenberry. In the legendary show, Star Trek, the original series, the communications officer, Lieutenant Nyota Uhura, was the leading expert on Earth specializing in linguistics, cryptography, and philology. In contrast to the characters portrayed by many African actors and actresses, the highly skilled Uhura was played by the African-American actress, Nichelle Nichols. As an actress, Nichols first began working with Gene Roddenberry in his televised show, Lieutenant, in 1963, as a guest appearance in an episode concerning racial prejudice. This episode was never aired. Later, as a singer, Nichols had been on tour in Europe when her acting agent called 
telling her that Jean Roddenberry was holding auditions for roles in the new show. After some consideration, Nichols left Europe and auditioned, was cast, and returned to Europe to finish her tour. She was cast for the role of Uhura on Star Trek The Original Series in 1966. Behind the scenes, Nichols was being discriminated against, from having missing fan mail to the cuts and the racism. The writers wrote episodes centered around Uhura's character development. Most of these episodes were cut. Nichols was also offered a role on Broadway within the first year of being on Star Trek, as she was a singer before she was an actress, and it had always been her dream to be on Broadway. After the first season ended, Nichols reluctantly decided to resign. She walked into Roddenberry's office and gave him her resignation. In being informed of this, Roddenberry asked her to wait a few days and think over the weekend. The next evening, Nichols attended a NAACP meeting. In this meeting, a man informed Nichols that there is someone who would like to meet you. He's a big fan of Star Trek and of Ahura. Nichols turned to greet this fan and was astonished. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was the fan. Dr. King approached her and spoke to her about how much his family adored her. Regretfully, she informed Dr. King of her plan to leave Star Trek. Nichols was a role model for many people in the 60s because she was a black woman that had a job typically played by a white person. The future was designed around racial issues showing the absence of them, an ideal future. Many actors that were thinking of exploring the acting business were African American and it was a common belief that African Americans did not make it in showbiz. Whoopi Goldberg, the bartender, Guinan, on the USS Enterprise D in Star Trek Generations, said that when she was little, she watched Star Trek every night and really looked up to Nichelle Nichols. Mae Jameson is a world-renowned astronaut. As the first female African-American astronaut, Jameson was inspired by Nichelle Nichols because of her role as Uhura in Star Trek. Uhura inspired Jameson to not limit herself to African-American jobs. After her success, she was invited to be a guest in Star Trek The Next Generation. In the late 1960s, Nichols was presented with a conflict. She resolved this internal conflict of continuing her role on Star Trek and enduring the racism or leaving Star Trek to perform on Broadway with a compromise. After speaking with Martin Luther King Jr., she stayed with Star Trek, continuing to endure the racism, discrimination, and cuts, whilst inspiring others, allowing them to dream the future.